trouble visualizing? Try this. Visualization is one of the important tools in manifesting, if not the most effective way to manifest. Pero marami ang mga hirap na mag-visualize. In this video, I will share some techniques that will help you improve your visualization. Kung isa ka sa mga hirap na visualize, having a hard time focusing, panoorin mo ang video na ito. Beautiful people, ako po si Ms. P, Princess Javier Castro, creating videos to help you live a great life filled with happiness, love, and success. Kung bago ka sa channel na ito, please consider subscribing. Pindutin mo na rin niyang all para updated ka sa lahat ng mga videos na ina-upload ko. Unang-una, ano nga ba ang manifestation? Manifestation is the result of anything that you have impressed in your subconscious mind. Meaning, your experiences, your reality is the manifested version of your thoughts, beliefs, ideas, and even your memories. Anything that you have observed, anything that you have put your attention to, may it be consciously or unconsciously, in time, each of them will show its way to you. Your subconscious mind stores data para siyang memory bank. For example, lumaki ka na laging pera ang nagiging dahilan ng pag-aaway ng parents mo. You hear words like, Ang hirap-hirap kumita ng pera, swerte-swerte lang ang pagkita ng malaking pera. O kaya, okay na lang na ganito lang kaliit ang kita ay para simple lang ang buhay. Kung lagi mo itong naririnig, you will form certain beliefs around those statements. Pwede maniwala ka na talagang mahirap kumita ng pera. Kahit anong sipag ng isang tao, kung di ka maswerte, hindi ka pa rin kikita ng malaki. O kaya, pera ang dahilan ng madalas na pag-aaway ng mag-asawa. Then, situation of this nature will show into your experience. Pwedeng pera nga ang magiging dahilan ng away ninyong mag-asawa. O kaya naman, hirap kang maghanap ng pera o kumita ng pera. That's how it works. According to Leo Tzu, watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. And your habits become your character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. That's how powerful your words are. They become your future. So how do you break the chain? This is where visualization comes in. Creating an imaginal act and play it over and over before you sleep is the key. You can also do this during meditation. E paano kung hirap kang mag-visualize? Actually, nagulat ako na talagang may mga ilang tao pala na hirap mag-visualize. In my coaching sessions with my clients, this, I should say, would be one of their usual problems. So, if you're just like them, having trouble visualizing, try this exercise. Ito ang ginawa ni Neville. Every morning, muupo siya sa kanyang sofa at ini-imagine niya na nandun siya sa ibang kwarto. Then he imagined himself that he is back where he was seated. Then another place in the house until he felt comfortable with it. Let's try this. Sit comfortably wherever you are. I hope nasa bahay ka ngayon. Don't do this while you're driving. Observe what is in front of you. Pag ready ka na, close mo ang mga mata mo. Nakikita mo pa ba kung ano yung nakita mo? Yes? Okay. Close your eyes again. And imagine that you are at your table in your dining room. Nakikita mo ba na humahawak ka o hawak mo ang isang baso or tasa, kutsara, tiridor? Nasa harap mo ba isang plato? May placemat ba? Yes? Okay, you're doing good. Go back to where you first sat. If that's in your sofa or your bed, then go back there. Nakita mo ba kung ano yung una mong na-imagine? If yes, then you're doing great. Gawin mo ito hanggang maging comfortable ka parang si devil. Gawin mo ito every day, every morning as you wake up. O kaya naman, try mo rin ito. Upo ka sa isang comfortable chair. Put your two hands on your lap facing up. Imagine mo na mayro kang hinahawakan na apple dun sa isa. Isa mong kamay. Then, pakiramdam mo, nararamdaman mo ba ang balat ng apple? Can you spot the smell of an apple? What about a rose flower? Nafi-feel mo ba yung petals? What about the thorns on the stem? Nararamdaman mo ba? 
yung amoy ng bulaklak na yan, amoy ng rosas, recognizable? With about a bill or a note or pera, kung kunyari 500 pesos or 1,000 pesos o kung ano man ang perang meron ka, na-imagine mo ba? Na-feel mo yung texture ng pera? Money has a particular scent too. Can you smell it? If you said yes to all of these, then you are doing great. If not, keep practicing until you can imagine more clearly. Imagination is not only about what you see. It can be combined with your other senses. Your sense of smell, your sense of touch, or taste. At kung kaya mo mapagsama ang at least dalawa sa iyong mga senses, then that will be great. It will be more effective. When you visualize, always remember to imagine the end result, not the middle. Kaya importante yung sinusulat ito. Example, if you want to be married, huwag mo imagine yung ceremony. Ang imagine mo, you're celebrating your first anniversary. If you want to be promoted, don't imagine na kinakausap ka ng boss mo about your promotion. That's the middle. You imagine that you are celebrating and your co-workers and friends and family are congratulating you. If you want better health, don't imagine that you're getting better. That's the middle. Imagine that you are perfectly well. Imagining the end means tapos na tapos na. Also, this is very important. Imagine from the first person point of view, not the third person. When you're imagining from a third person, parang give away mo yung, yung imagination to someone else. Meaning, you must see your hands moving, but you don't see your entire face, just a portion of it. Hindi yung para kang nanonood ng movie and you're playing a role in that movie. Actually, nangyari sa akin yan. I imagine a program sa isang stasyon na ipapahawak sa akin. Since I imagined it like a movie, third person point of view, ayun, iba ang humawak na programang yun na ibigay sa iba. So don't make that mistake. Always, always imagine from the first person point of view. Imagine from it, not of it. Write a short script of your imaginal act before imagining. This is also crucial para hindi ka watak-watak in your imagination. Around 5 to 10 seconds long pwede na. Example, if you want to be married, create a scene. Maybe you're celebrating with your wife or your husband sa isang restaurant. So ang nakikita mo ang face ng partner mo, maybe he was holding a glass. Tapos nakikita mo yung wedding ring na kaparehas ng sayo. And then sinabi mo yung dialogue mo. I'm happy and grateful celebrating our first anniversary. Tapos sasagot siya, me too. And then we're partner smiles. Di pa yung naaabot ng 10 seconds. Wala pa yung 10 seconds. Then repeat this imaginal act over and over until you dose yourself to sleep, lalong lalo na kung gagawin mo ito sa gabi. In that scene, ang dami mo senses na ginamit. Sight, hearing, and maybe feeling of sigh and relief, di ba? In case naman na nawawala ka while imagining, minsan naman talaga nangyayari yun. Just try to bring it back. Bring it back. It is also important that you put yourself in a relaxed state every time that you do this. Deep breathing can help. Then once relaxed, bring in your scene and repeat the 10 second long scene until you dose yourself to sleep. I hope you'll try the exercises that I shared at sana marami kayong mga natutunan. At kung nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyo, please give me a thumbs up para madali ito makita ng mga taong naghahanap ng ganitong klaseng informasyon. I-share mo na rin sa mga friends and loved ones mo, the people that you care about, so that like you, they too can live a great life. I'll see you next time!